Today we're going to be reviewing another spot welder sent from CESA, if I'm saying that right, battery spot welder. It has detachable probes on it, so we're going to open this. So yeah, it has detachable probes. Thanks for the company sending this for a review. All right, so that's pretty cool. You got some uh, batteries for the 18650 holders that it comes with, so you can build a little battery pack. So you can actually build two battery packs. You got some nickel stripping. I'm surprised of how much you get with this. You know, you could build a decent amount of a battery pack. This would be like a little thicker. This one would be a little thinner, I imagine. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is the more thicker, this is the more thinner stuff. So you got some beastie cables. I like how they're gold tipped for connection. Basically, you got a plastic sleeve over this. So you got some decent tips there. And what I like about these, you know, you could have one already, one tip already sitting on the thing holding the nickel stripping and then connect this one. And that way it'll actually won't engage until you connect this one. So I, I do like the probe tips. That's like I have on my first model, the one I built. Or I had to rebuild. Because it failed right away. So far the other spot welder works great. I haven't had any issues with it. So this is a charger cable. Which is decent length. I want to say it's a little longer than the other model. got a file and then we got the spot welder we'll set that to the side so here's the spot welder got an instruction manual So it looks like it's a little different interface. I wonder, I think you could use this as a charger bank too. So you could charge something. That's kind of cool. So if you want a spot welder and a charger bank, you're not using it as a spot welder. We'll see. If that's a feature but yeah you have your USB charger port I, I believe this is this is USB-C this is USB regular and I believe this is an output voltage I'm not sure we're gonna have to take a look at that so output 100 or 650 amps okay it says uh, USB output 5 at 2 amps so yes it is a bank and then USB-C that's input and then you have a 11,000 milliamp battery in it. So that's a lot bigger battery than the other model. Power to so let's take a look at the instruction manual real quick. So this is welding small gear. So the gear is gonna be the power. So that's gonna be this button right here. So that'd be your adjustment. And adjust the key of the high gear. And that would be this, this button right here to change that setting. Another one is gonna be delay. So this one's gonna be delay how long it takes until it fires. Oh, and you got the temperature reading. That's nice. 
nice feature. They have a temperature reading while you're doing your spot welding of the device. So this is the power button right here. Okay, it just powers on. And then hold it to power it off. I didn't get no welcome screen. <laughs> This one has a welcome screen. And a louder beep. See it said welcome. Right now it's saying 24 Celsius. Set at 1.0. And the delay is one, one second. So let's take a look on the side camera with this real quick. Alright, so we're on the side camera. And it's nice that the connectors are all gold. That's a nice, nice touch. So you're going to get the best connection. Alright, so that changes the gear. And you hold it down, you can cycle through it faster. I kind of like the beep not so loud on this. I'm not a fan of loud beepers. So let's see how high this goes. So it stopped at 8.0. And that resets it to 1. So if you so you could do this one to do small little little tweaks and then you got this one that'll jump it up. That'll bump it to a 4 5 and then you could bump it up a little bit. So I, I kind of do like this interface. It's pretty simple. So then if we go to all the way to 8 and then we reset it down to 1. And so this one's going to be our delay. So that only goes up to 5 second delay. So we'll leave that at one second. We'll leave this at 1.0. We're just gonna see what the power is on the lowest setting. So I'm gonna shut this off by holding this. There we go. So we're gonna plug in the probes. Wow, that's a nice tight fit. There we go, we got the probes connected. The distance with it, the length, reasonable. So if you're getting a little higher on a battery, you're gonna have to like, you know, prop this up a little higher. Or you could stand it upwards and use it this way. So if you need to get higher. That's pretty nice. And by the way, this uh, sells on Amazon for, it's on sale right now for 10% off, 70, $70. So probably roughly around $75 you're gonna pay for it. So like for a really big battery, you're going to want to use the thicker stuff over here, the other stuff. Get that out of the way. Let's grab two of these trips. Right, we're going to turn this on. There we go, we got a full battery. Now what I was talking about, what I like about having two prongs is you could hold the other one down, hold the metal down, and then we could hit it. There we go. You can see the force being pushed in this one. I mean, 
I don't think that's, yeah, see, that's not strong enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick that up. So let's go to 2.0. So that's turning it up. Those probes were pretty far away. Alright, so we need to just go a little bit more. You're going to want to test out your own nickel stripping that you buy. Like I got some really high end quality nickel stripping. And you're going to want to try your own little setting. So we're going to go up to 3, 3.0. There we go. I've seen a little spark and fire. Yep, that's it. Yep. So that's pretty decent. Come on, the side camera, take a look at that. We take a look at that. Yeah, it's, it's on there. Yeah, I can almost, can't even pry it all the way off, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, don't stab yourself. This stuff is uh, very sharp. So yeah, let's take a look. Under the microscope. Got it under a microscope. Take a look at this. We're going to hold down. It's hard to pry off. Alright, so I got a piece. We're going to spot weld this to the battery. See, it's a nice, perfect height for working with the. Uh, if you have this in a battery, so if we have the battery holders that they have. It's kind of cool that they include that. That's what I'm talking about, holding the probes. You can hold it on the battery. There we go. See if that's on there. Yep. That is on there. See, it's just ripping off. Oh, yeah. So you had to see the force that I had to t tear that off with. Yeah, I gotta actually say, I'm impressed with the interface that they have. It's a easy interface, easy to use. It works. So far, I'm pretty impressed with uh, this company for their spot welders. And I mean, these tips, they're, you know, they're nice, nice tips. I mean, you'd have to probably replace the tips. That's what I like about the other one that they have. These are replaceable tips. You could just unscrew these and pull these tips out and replace them with new ones. But I do like the portability of the probes. Like I said, you could actually hold down one to hold the, the material down in place. And then you can touch it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to power this off. And then I'm going to 
to disconnect the wires. Man, those plugs are in there. So I got a tester here. Yep. So we got five volts here. So yeah, you could plug in anything here you want to charge. Let's see if we could do something too here. So we got our other one here, right? We're running low power on this one. Let's grab their cable that it came with. Let's see if we can charge this one, this spot while we're here. There we go. We're charging the other spot while there. So if you need to charge your phone or your Bluetooth speaker or something, you're out and about, you know, you got a nice little bank. That's 11,000 milliamps. That's pretty nice, a little charger bank system. All in one. Uh, we unplug this, it stops charging that. So yeah, pretty impressed with this model. I like this one a lot, especially the charger bank option to be able to charge any device you want. You know, we can charge the other spot welder if we need it. Charge your phone, your boom box, your Bluetooth speaker, a little fan or something, or a flashlight. So yeah, thanks for the company sending this out for a review. If you guys wanna purchase this, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get so I'm giving this an honest review. I like it. Would I purchase it? Yes. Especially for the charger bank and the spot welding all in one. You just, it's a nice feature. <laughs> Be able to use the power from the actual bank, the battery I want to, and then charge this up again and then reuse it again. So as a charger bank and a spot welder, it's a win-win situation. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys get a chance, give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching.